Welcome back to Verify Giant, your go-to source for helping you shop online safely. Today, we're diving into the Grand Millennium Hotel in Amman, located on 07 Liya Abu Mahdi Street. A five-star establishment, it promises comfort, but are the stars aligned for a stellar experience? Let's start with a negative review, the staff acted like they were auditioning for a soap opera, lots of drama, little service. Ouch! But hang tight! A positive twist, the rooms were spacious, and the view of the city was breathtaking. Now that's more like it. But don't get too comfortable, another guest chimed in. Wi-Fi? More like Wi-Fi? It barely worked. On to the rooms. They feature air conditioning, bidets, and coffee slash tea makers. Comfortable? Yes. But is it luxurious? Let's just say you might find more lavish decor at your grandma's house. As for the bathrooms, they're clean but could use an upgrade. Now, let's talk about amenities. There's a pool, but if you were hoping for a beach, you might need to drive a bit. Nearby attractions include Jabal Al Ala, a historical site about 2.1 miles away. Regarding food, the Grand Millennium offers a mix of local and international cuisine. Try the Mansf, the national dish of Jordan, which is basically a delicious lamb feast. Just don't expect an all-inclusive buffet, it's more like a buffet with a hint of please don't drop my plate. Staff friendliness? Score, 5 out of 10. They're friendly but a bit slow on the uptake. Activities? Score. 6 out of 10. There's some decent nightlife, but if you're looking for action, you might need to venture elsewhere. For the final score. Location, 8 out of 10. Room quality, 6 out of 10. Amenities, 5 out of 10. Food, 7 out of 10. Cleanliness, 8 out of 10. Wi-Fi, 4 out of 10. Value for money, 6 out of 10. Total score, 51 out of 100. Is it worth visiting? Yes, but with a few reservations. The Grand Millennium Hotel Amman might be a decent pit stop, but it's not the grand experience you might have hoped for. 